guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood. Amber's just gotten up and she actually is running late for work. She has so much to do. It's just... Ugh. She just had like a night with Ace, as you guys saw last time, and we're actually back in this household again this time because I'm thinking that Amber might end up going for a little bit of a trip to a certain world that we may have acquired in a recent game pack, and I just kind of really wanted to do that, so I thought it was okay to visit this household twice. Uh, one thing I don't want to miss is these girls getting any older, but they just had birthdays the part before last, so I think we should be good, and I don't think Bailey and Mitchell are on their way out just yet. I'm just like really worried about them though, because they're getting up in age, and we'll definitely be in their household next time. Amber's home from work. She's making something in the microwave, and actually when she got home, Ace was waiting, waiting here for her, and they ended up woohooing, and then he left. I don't know why he left, but oh well. Anyway, <laughs> he is out, uh, key holder, yes, uh, because he has a key to our apartment now. I don't know why he, like, asked to come in, because a little while ago he was, uh, here it is. Hey, I was thinking about checking out the city today, can I use your place to get ready? And I'm like, you have a key, like, what was the point of that? Uh, but... She has eaten her chicken nuggets that she just heated up, and then I think she's going to call it a night. She just does a couple more days of work until the weekend, and she's just a little stressed. She's feeling pretty happy right now, though, and she's going to spend some time petting Salem. And can I just say that this is the ugliest cute cat ever? Like, I love this cat so much. A lot of you guys have been like, why do you love ugly cats? I mean, what's there not to love about this adorable boy? Like, <laughs> he's so perfect. Uh, and Amber thinks so, too. So we're going to come over here and see Salem. He is a good boy. Uh, but she's just going to enjoy her nuggets and then, you know, keep going through her work week. Amber should be home from work soon, but she's feeling angry at work, which is not good. Like, her hot-headed trait is so frustrating. Oh my god! Promoted to Hungry Artist! <laughs> that sounds like not a promotion, but... Anyway, <laughs> Amber has been promoted to a Hungry Artist. She will make an additional three simoleons per hour for a grand total of 26. And she got a 464 simoleon bonus, and she can now study the human form, or study of the human form. I think that's a book. Did she get a book? I have no idea. But that's pretty cool. Her next shift is tomorrow, like usual. And what is she wearing? Let's let's check out this outfit. This is a very not oh, also maybe the wine glass is a little hurt, but this is not an amber outfit. Like look at her earrings. Oh my goodness. Amber, what are you wearing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, there we go. That's better. That's more amber for sure. Oh, she has so many needs to take care of, and I think we started a painting last night. I want her to work on. Uh so we're going to resume that as well. Try and get our needs up. And then we have one more day until the weekend. So we really just want to do that. Ace wants to know if I want to go out to dinner with him. No, Ace, not right now. I mean, we just started kind of like getting back on track with Ace. And I already feel like Amber's feeling a little bit trapped. Like she's been working every day this week. And Ace wants to hang out all the time. And he keeps coming over. And they keep just, you know, getting to the bedroom. And she's just kind of, oh, she's too tense for that. Okay. Uh, she's kind of just, she wants some space, I guess. We're gonna take a brisk shower real quick over here and try and get herself feeling a little bit better. I don't remember what a brisk shower does. I could have read it, but, uh, she's feeling energized now, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's resume this painting and just kind of have some us time right now to do some painting, hang out with the cat, because Ace is wonderful and all, but I feel like Amber just needs some space right now. Uh, so that's what she's gonna do. I don't know what I think about this abstract painting. Hopefully people like it. Ace, I just said no and now you're just at my house. Okay, this is, oh my goodness. Maybe she shouldn't have given him a key, but like how do you ask for that back without it being like, it's over? Because I don't think she's breaking up with him by any means. I just think she wants a little bit of space and she just said she didn't want to go out with him and he just comes into our house and like does her, oh I mean he can do our dishes. I'm fine with that. Uh, but here he is. Just, oh, and he kissed us. Well, hi. Nice to see you, too. Uh, okay. Oh, and Cliff wants to know if I want to meet him someplace. Ooh, can I just be like, oh, no, I can't go. <laughs> oh, the Museum of Archaeology. Isn't that in? Oh, my gosh. He's inviting us to Salvadorada. I mean, yeah. But let's go. I didn't know we could even go there and not on a vacation. Oh my goodness, we're in the jungle hanging out with family. Look, it's just Cliff. Hopefully Michaela's hanging out with the kids. Uh, I haven't even checked out this museum. It's really little. 
This is a 64 by 64 lot too. Ooh, look at the back. I love this. This is so pretty. But let's see what there has, like, what the museum has to offer. Let's go here. I think it's interesting that Cliff asked us to come here. Uh, because she was already thinking about going on, like, a jungle adventure of her own. And I think this might, like, convince her to do so. Especially because she's really tired and tense right now. I feel like she's not going to fully get to enjoy what she's seeing here. And she, I think she'd want to find some of this stuff for herself. Uh, so she's just going to take a look at what they have in store. And I, I don't know. I feel like she looks like she's intrigued. She's interested. She is ready for this jungle adventure. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, she still has one more day of work. So, you know. But it's nice to see Cliff, and this is kind of a random place for him to bring us. Where is Cliff, though? Cliff! Our thing is just gone. How do we even get home? We're just in the jungle, and... Okay. And we don't have any lodging. If we just say go home, will they bring us home? Because I've never, like, seen them bring you to another world. Like, <laughs> this is so weird, because this is a vacation world. Like, could we just hang out here and we're not paying to be here? Because that's kind of cool. Uh, and unexpected. Are we stuck in the jungle? Like, like, look at She's already, like, in the jungle, and she's not even staying here yet. She looks, like, happy, though, but she's not dressed for it, for sure. I mean, maybe Amber shouldn't have agreed to go to, like, basically another country in the middle of the- Oh my god, Ace is still here. <sighs> I left and went to a jungle with my brother for hours and came back, and you're still in my apartment. Uh, maybe she shouldn't have done that on a work night. Like, she has work tomorrow morning, but- it's okay, right? She's not having too much fun. Oh no, she needs to go to sleep. <sighs> go to bed. Or, or, or eat. Eat and then go to bed. While they're hugging. Okay, you know, she's just like, doesn't know what to do about the situation. Oh my god, is... Salem, where are you? Where was he? He's home now. <laughs> but that was weird. Salem just like disappeared for a bit. Oh goodness, all right. Well, she has one more day of work, and then I think going to Silvadorada earlier kind of settled that she wants to go if she can afford it. We have 1,900 simoleons, and our bills aren't due yet, so I think she should be able to afford it. So let's have her go to bed, and hopefully tomorrow will go well. Boop. Amber is home from work and brought home 208 simoleons. She is actually pretty hungry and needs to take a shower, but then I think she's thinking about heading off to the jungle. She has 2,000 simoleons, which is honestly probably the most she's had ever. <laughs> so we're gonna make a microwave meal because, you know, quick, easy food. We might try some new stuff once we get to Selva Dorada though, but I think we're gonna end up staying in the cheapest possible location. Uh, so why don't you eat that and then take a shower? She's just hanging out with Salem, eating some food. I don't know what this looks like. It could be. Ooh, Mitchell's calling us. Hi, Dad. Uh, sure. We can let him know that we're heading off. Oh, she is smelly. Can you talk at the same time, or do you have you can't talk and eat at the same time? That's unfortunate. All right, you're you're full enough. Answer answer the phone. Your dad's calling you. Let him know your plans. Hi, Dad. Yeah, I I just kind of want to get away and explore a little bit. Um, you know, adventure. That's kind of who I am. Oh my gosh, Ace wants to go out for seafood again. No, Ace. Can you can you take no for an answer, please? All right. All right, Dad. Thank you. Yes, I'll be careful. Uh, let's go shower, and then we're going to head off. Uh, so she's going to do that real quick and, you know, fun and energy. But we can sleep once we get to our accommodations, because I don't think we'll adventure until the morning, because it's not really safe the first time she goes out to be, you know, <laughs> in the... Oh my gosh. Everyone wants to hang out with her right now. I think Mitchell told Bailey that Amber is going to go and explore a dangerous jungle. And Bailey's just like, let's go out. Let's let's have fun at a festival. Trying to get her daughter to like not go. And she's like, no thanks, mom. I'm good. Oh my goodness. Her parents don't want that. Oh, and Ace is here again. Oh, I'm, okay. She really needs to get away. She, she feels like he is being way overbearing and clingy. And she just, she needs to get away from him. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a vacation. Just us. We're not bringing anyone with us. Why would we need that? Just Amber. Oh my god. Ace, this is not okay. I, but like, she can't just take the key away from him. She feels like that's so awkward. Oh, I don't know what she's gonna do about that relationship, but for right now, she just wants to get away a little bit and explore. So we're gonna go ahead and plan this vacation to Selva Dorada. We have 2,100 Smolians. Let's see. Some other Sims are already vacationing here. Oh, that looks like it's like the cheapest place though. 
Oh, these are expensive. Was this the only cheap one? This one's 600 a day. This one, oh, I want to stay there. Mmm, 500, 700. We don't need all this space. We need, like, just a tiny little place. I might have to, like, kick someone out of their vacation. I'm thinking about it. Amber has been fighting on the phone for a cheaper place, and wouldn't she see it? The Healthy Hideaway is now available for 228 simoleons per day. It has creepy crawlies, though. I didn't even know that was a new lot trait. That's terrifying, but that's way more affordable. So we're gonna go there. I think she's thinking like maybe like four days, which is almost a thousand simoleons, like half of her money right now, but I think that's what she wants. So we're gonna go ahead and select that and we're going to the jungle with Amber. Oh my god. I will admit, I did not intend to bring Salem with me, yet here he is, and I've heard that there's some things that you should know when you bring an animal to the jungle. Like for some reason, none of their stuff works. Welcome to the jungle, Amber. I have some handy adventure items in your inventory. Okay, and we can go to the marketplace to pick up some more gear. We have a machete and some spider repellent, which is good. Uh, I think we're going to have to buy a pet dish, though, and I know we can't. So bb.free build. Is it free build now? bb.enable free build. Yeah. Cheat, so I can edit this lot, even though you're not supposed to be able to edit the vacation homes that you're staying in. Because we just need to get, like, a kitty litter and a cat bowl. We're not going to take him on the adventures. We're going to leave him here, but he needs some place to just try. in the kitchen. Why not? Okay. Let's go ahead and fill this. Uh, I didn't want Salem to come with me. I didn't think about that. Call Salem to eat. Let's just make sure he'll come eat. I think he should. Yeah, he's good. All right. So this is our accommodations. It's kind of cute. This is our like bedroom, living room area. You know, we can entertain and, uh, sleep in the same space that's fine with me i mean with amber a lot of her entertaining is in the bedroom anyway uh because she just likes to do what she feels like doing and have fun and i think that she's gonna have a lot of fun in the jungle uh but we'll adventure out in the morning and we'll probably pick out some uh, appropriate attire for her to be wearing that you know is a little bit safer for all the creatures we'll probably encounter but for now it looks like she's just gonna hang out with a good book while she thinks about grilled cheese and we'll pick it up in the morning it is morning amber is awake her needs are a lot better than they were last night and i think it's time to get her into some proper attire so we can go into the marketplace buy some supplies and then adventure into the jungle because marketplace is right down here so we're gonna go ahead and give her some new outfits. Amber did her research and got what she thinks she needs. She has a little bit of a like button up top, which she just wanted to look the part, let's be honest. Uh, she got a fanny pack so she could carry some supplies in it and she tied her hair back and like she made it look all gorgeous, of course. Uh, and she's just like, I gotta have my makeup. So I think she's looking pretty cute. So we're gonna head on down to the marketplace down here. So let's go here. And we'll probably get some breakfast at this stall. And oh my gosh, they have so much stuff here. Uh, it doesn't look like they have a lot of what like, we don't. Well, we have a machete, so we can buy that. We'll also buy some of this liquid. More spark, spider spray should be good because uh, we don't want to run into too many spiders. But for right now, she's just running down. Look at her. I love her hair. It looks so good on her. Oh, I think she's going to have so much fun. I'm really excited to explore with her. Because I just feel like this is the kind of thing she would randomly do. And it's going to be such a nice, I guess, change of pace, change of scenery for her. And she's just so beautiful. I'm sorry. Like, I love every hair I've ever put on her. I'm just super excited about Oh, another one of these opened. Oh, oh, they have water. Oh, they have more machetes. We probably want that. We also probably want some grilled cheese. Oh, this stuff's expensive. I forgot we have limited funds. How much is a machete? There's nobody even at this table. That's frustrating because I would like to buy stuff from that table. Can I buy this? No. Uh, view inventory. Oh. I don't want to clear it. I want to buy these things. <laughs> Nobody's at that table. That's so bad. All right. Well, we have one grilled cheese. We have some spoiled food. Uh, some class projects, some spider repellent, and we have a machete. I don't know where this person is, but I'm kind of annoyed because I would like to buy some of those water bottles. But, you know, that's okay. Amber doesn't even know she's missing out on anything. She's just hanging out over here, <laughs> jumping on trash because she's Amber. <sighs> what am I going to do with this one? <laughs> <laughs> she's so silly all right well i guess we're gonna travel to the jungle are you hungry first oh you need to take a shower 
I think there's like a public restroom thing at the opening to the jungle where you can take showers. So I think we're gonna go there. Although we're still technically at our house. Let's let's just do that. Uh, come take a shower real quick. You just got covered in garbage. Uh, so you kind of want to do that before you head to the jungle. And maybe by the time we're done with that, somebody will be at that stand that has the machetes in the water because I think water uh, bottles in a bottle would be good. Water bottles in a bottle. No, what bottle? <laughs> Basically, those are like showers in a can. I think those would be useful on our adventure. We got another grilled cheese ready to eat. We might pick up just one more. These are expensive, but I want to make sure she has food, and I think she'd be worried about that too. I don't think she's thinking about all the dangers. I think she's just thinking about, I need to eat at some point. So we're going to head on over to the trailhead and just bring us. I don't want to bring Salem. Salem's just too much. I can't take care of a cat while I'm exploring a jungle. Uh, he can stay at the little villa we're staying in, eat all the food he wants, sleep all he wants, hopefully not run into any spiders since we do have the creepy crawly thing going on. And we have this right here, which is use bathroom and take shower. Let's use the bathroom real quick because she has to pee. And then we can come over here and read the poisonous awareness sign and the preparation checklist. I bet we don't have what we need. Uh, local sims for antidotes. Okay. So hopefully we don't get poisoned, but we can talk to local sims and they might be able to help. It's prepare. It's important to prepare. Check the marketplace of vendors. Okay. We already did. So we're going to come over here and clear the path with the machete. Watch us lose our machete immediately. Uh, <laughs> Amber's just like, yes, I get to swing a machete. This is like my life goal. Oh my goodness. I want to take photos. It's actually a really cool view. Like, look at her. <laughs> ah, Amber, I love you. All right, swing that machete. I like it. We probably took a bunch of photos. So we're gonna see how she does with this. And if you can get through. All right, come on, you got this. Ooh, she's going in. She's going in, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Jaguar the jungle. Great start! <laughs> Amber hears a growl and slowly turns to see a jaguar patrolling through the jungle and with something shining in its jaws. The cat hasn't spotted Amber yet. Should she stop moving and wait for it to leave or try and scare it? She can stop moving or jump scare. I think we're gonna stop moving because I don't like I think Amber is a little like crazy and out there but I don't think she's crazy and out there like wants to get eaten by a jaguar in the jungle like so we're gonna stop moving. Amber stands completely still as the jaguar walks close by. Her heart pounds as the jaguar e ears perk up uh, and the cat turns towards her. Fortunately, a loud noise far away in the jungle grabs the jaguar's attention and it bounds away. It's been a while before, it'll be a while before Amber calms down after such a danger near miss. Oh my goodness. That was something. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, so we're here. Why don't we go ahead and harvest the avocado tree? Why not? And this is an available area to to go ahead and travel through let's try our machete again jaguar scare that jaguar almost spotted amber and it'll be a while before her heart stops pounding oh no but we're gonna keep going see what we can find yay we're getting through yet again another gate and let's see what happens this time carnivorous vines <laughs> Oh my gosh, a glint catches Amber's eye and she spies something shiny in the middle of the patch of vines. As she approaches, she notices that the vines seem to move mechanically and that the torn old boots sit among them. Is it evidence of another traveler who wasn't so lucky? Should Amber attempt to retrieve the shiny object or leave the hostile plants alone? Oh no. I feel like part of her would want to try and retrieve it because she's like oh it's plants they can't be that dangerous like the jaguar she was like oh that's a jaguar i don't want to get eaten by a jaguar but like i think we're gonna try and retrieve it oh my gosh amber has never heard of a plant that could harm sims in any of her gardening studies drawn by the shiny treasure she confidently strolls into the patch of vines the vines however open up and let out some swampy jungle gas which poisons amber <gasps> wait what she's poisoned feeling icky from poisonous plants Oh, goodness. Something isn't right. This icky feeling could either go away on its own or get worse. Only time will tell. Maybe acquiring an antidote would be safest. Oh, no. <laughs> Amber, look at her polka dots. I think she's going to explore a little bit more, and then we'll try and find an antidote, but this this is not good. Oh, my gosh, there's a snake. <sighs> okay. Okay, Amber, you are poisoned, and there is a snake uh, and a crashed plane. You know, this looks safe. 
<laughs> Let's go over here and open the treasure chest. Oh, and she's being s lightning bugs. Oh my god. Amber, <laughs> you're gonna die. Oh. Oh no. Look at her. I'm like so nervous right now. Is she gonna die? Amber, please don't die. I'm so scared, guys. How do you get away? We don't have the supplies. We didn't find enough supplies. Oh no. Oh my god. I don't think this adventure is going very well for her. Okay then. She's okay. We didn't die. Okay. Well then. Well then. Let's go get this treasure. I don't know how much longer we're going to do this. Because uh, this isn't going very well. <laughs> oh my goodness. She at least got an artifact. And we're going to dig over here a little bit. And then I think she's going to like go on a hunt for an antidote. Because this is bad. This is pretty bad. I can't, I can't believe how badly this is going. Oh goodness. What are these? Just some barrels and stuff. That's really cool. I haven't been to this part of the jungle yet. I played a little bit uh, on a live stream the other day, but we didn't get to the... This was always a locked area. All right, Amber, let's find something. She's just like, there are bugs everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, goodness. And there's snakes and jaguars. And you're poisoned. Oh, goodness. Electrifying insect attack. Feeling icky. Seriously fried. It's not going very well for her. I just want to find something here so she can feel like her time was worthwhile with everything that's happened. Like, it's been kind of crazy. All right, writing stuff down. Ooh, we found an unauthenticated vase. Okay, let's head back to your lodging. I think that is the appropriate uh, decision here because she, look at how, like, goofy and dazed she is. She's just like... <laughs> I don't know why that is so funny, but it is. All right, let's get her out of here before anything else happens. We've made it back down to the marketplace and Amber is just sitting here looking at him like, I wonder if he can tell me anything about how to cure this. So uh, he should be a local. So let's see if we have the option. Ask for antidote. Okay. Chat with Marcos. You need to bring me some bone dust if you want me to create an antidote. If you haven't, don't have any bone dust, I have heard jungle named online retailer sells the antidote if you have access to a computer. It won't be cheap. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How long do we have? 10 hours. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get a computer and see how much the antidote is because we don't have any money. Amber asked the people that own this if they had a computer she could use anywhere and like they were like, what are you talking about? And she made a big fuss and they finally brought out this really old machine and like a table to put it on. So she's actually gonna go on here and see if we can buy medicine. Cause I'm not really sure. I'm assuming order. Order. Purchase medicine. Well, I think that's the other medicine though, but we can try. That's just uh, the severest of illnesses. I don't think this is the right thing, but we can try it. I don't. Because it's medicine. We want an antidote. Uh, that's not going to work. That, that's not going to work. We can try it, though. Right? It's worth a try. Is that going to... She just put it in the fridge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we can't even use it. Because it's wrong. Take medicine. Amber's liberal use of medication when she's not sick has caused some unfortunate side effects. Now she has side effects because she wasn't sick. Are you serious? Over medicated. She's just as dazed as they come. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. I found the antidote. It is a thousand dollars, and we only have nine hundred simoleons, and that would be every penny she has in the world. But she could die. So we have some stuff in our inventory. How much? An avocado is eight simoleons. You can sell that. Uh, how much was our machete worth? Ooh, 120. Should we sell our only machete? I think we are gonna. Like, she can't die. Like, she absolutely can't. Uh, and we have some, like, vases and stuff, but I think she's gonna keep these to try and authenticate and earn back some money from, from later if we can find an archaeology table. But, you know, I think we need to buy an antidote because we don't have bone dust. 
And I don't think she's going to make it all the way to a temple to find bone dust so she can make an antidote. So I think for right now, we're going to go ahead and spend a thousand simoleons to buy an antidote. What is this? Think about family member. Oh, that's really cute. She's thinking about her dad. She's like, my parents were so worried about me and I didn't like take that into consideration. She has waterfall in a bottle. Thank you for ordering the antidote. Where is it? Is that it? Salvador, Salvadoradian poison antidote. Okay. Chug. All right, Amber. This is it. You're going to be cured. You're going to be cured. All right. She's feeling good. She's happy that she got that. And uh, that should have cured her. So those po poison spots should go away. Oh, my goodness. That was quite a noise. Oh, yay, she's feeling better, but still over-medicated. <laughs> and on that note, we avoid a disaster, but she is completely broke now. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hopefully she can make some money back on this. I think next part is going to be a split between Amber and uh, Bailey and Mitchell, because I do want to go ahead and authenticate those these things right here. Uh, but then I also want to play as that household. So I think next part we'll start off for a brief moment, ending her adventure in Silva Dorada, and then we will move over to her parents' household. So I hope you guys enjoyed this jungle adventure that was kind of crazy, and Amber still looks super dopey and dazed, and I love it. It's amazing. Uh, I had a lot of fun, and I think she did too. Well, sort of. I mean, she got poisoned and attacked by lightning bugs, so maybe she didn't have as much fun as I did, but I thought it was fun. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.